pathogenesis of all of these. The key cell to keep in mind is macrophage. So while you keep macrophage in mind, this big hero cell here or destroying cell here, other thing is to keep in mind is particle size, particle size. And this is true for all of them. What does that mean? Normally the particles that are 5 micrometer to 10 micrometer, they can be inhaled but they get trapped into the larger airways and from there mucociliary elevator brings them back. We cuff them out again. The particles that are 0 0.5 micrometer or smaller, they almost act as gases and they can go in just like other gases all the way up to the alveoli and then come back out without any problem. So they are okay, these guys are okay. It is the particles which are 1 to 5 micrometer that are the most dangerous particles. These are the ones that cause the problem. So keep this in mind, write it down somewhere. The particle size has to be between 1 to 5 micrometer. These particles get lodged in the airways. So if I make an airway over here, so let's say this is the trachea, then we've got in the, so let's keep making smaller and smaller airways. And finally, we reach smaller bronchioles, then respiratory zones, and the alveolar sacs, alveolar ducts, so, and alveoli. So, the 0.5 micrometer can go all the way and go back up. 5 micrometer to 10 mic micrometer will get trapped in the upper areas. This is the 1 to 5 micrometer. These guys are going to go in and usually they get trapped at the bifurcations of the relatively smaller airways. Bifurcation is where they are dividing. That is where they get stuck. Why do they get stuck here? Because when they are going straight down, they would hit this bifurcation. Now when they get hit, when they hit there, they get trapped in the mucus there. Once they are trapped there, then the macrophages that are present in this area, and macrophages are present in this whole tree, they are present inside the alveoli. So for, for pneumoconiosis, remember there's two, both kind of macrophages, the ones that are alveolar macrophages and the ones that are respiratory tree or lung parent chymal macrophages, both of the macrophages are implicated in this problem. What they will do is, they will phagocytose these particles. And once again, I'm speaking about all of them. The pathogenesis is kind of common. The cell is macrophage. The particle size is important. That should be enough to come get stuck here. Now macrophage, once it eats up the, the particle, it can go through multiple events. In some cases, for example, here in the coal miners disease, macrophage is actually happy eats up the, the, the coal, digests it, and sometimes it just, that coal just gets stuck in it. And now this macrophage has become a dust cell, dust cell. So remember here, dust cell are important to keep in mind from the coal miners pneumoconiosis. Some of these macrophages, the dust cells, might actually run towards the lymph nodes what are they going to do? They have friends in the lymph node. They are going to tell them the T cells and the B cells here. So the macrophage has their friends in the lymph nodes. These are the T cells and the B cells. They are going to go and present these antigens to them. The result is the activation of the, of the acquired arm. Inflammation would start. Antibody, antibodies will be coming in. The T lymphocytes will come in. So what do you think? In this area, inflammation will happen or not? Yes. What kind of cells are you going to find? Macrophages and lymphocytes. What are the macrophage? What is specific for them? They would be carrying the crystals or these minerals in them. Where will the inflammation occur? The inflammation would occur at the in the parenchyma and 
next to the lymphatics. Why? Because the macrophages are moving through the lymphatics as well. So, this is really important to keep in mind, lymphatics. So, parenchymal inflammation and fibrosis and lymphatic inflammation and fibrosis will occur. Very simple, it is inflammation, right? And activation of the macrophages. This is the primary mechanism that will happen. So, now keeping this in mind, let us look at all of these diseases and see what is different about them. Go like this video and smash that subscribe button as well and make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.